Mutando. Yes, you read the title correctly. This is probably the most YouTube y thing I'll ever do. So, I have been single for a year. And in order to commemorate my singlehood, I'm going to be doing the spicy noodle challenge, eating spicy noodles that my ex lover gifted me over a year ago. I know, that was, a, that was a mouthful, but we're in it now, so let's do it. I've been doing a lot of self serious videos, and I just thought I'd be silly while giving you some random useless information that nobody asked for. So, I think the objective of these spicy noodle challenges, which were trending like three years ago, um, is to try and finish a bowl of noodles, really hot noodles, uh, without dying. The challenge itself is in that the broth is hot, spicy in other countries, and that makes it hard to finish the bowl. Okay, there's a lot in here. Uh, what? Okay, this is getting serious. The challenge in this household, however, is going to be whether I can actually swallow a spoonful, not going to be a forkful of these noodles before we can get to whether I can handle the heat or not because they are over a year old. Did I mention that? Another added challenge is to actually stay alive. I hope these are not poisonous now. <laughs> Imagine surviving Coco V only to get ill from a gift your ex lover gave you over a year ago. I'll bet that'll be a typical thing to happen to me. Very on brand. I'm going to actually boil these because that's supposed to prevent me dying. I don't know. I just need them to come to a proper boil. Uh, I should have switched this on earlier. Okay, while well, we bring that to a boil, little backstory. So, Baba had traveled, Baba, my ex, if you don't know. Um, had traveled to Nepal and she came back with a bunch of these noodles. We were supposed to do a noodle challenge, but the breakup was looming sadly. So we just couldn't get to it, it never happened. Because we just couldn't sit in front of a camera and do a freaking noodle challenge when our relationship was in turmoil. It it just it just shout out to you if you know where that's from. <laughs> if you don't, be blessed. It's not even about the size. Okay. That's not what this is about. It's about that you lied to me. No, I didn't. You lied to me because you said it you said it was nine inches and it gave me four. Ugh. And it just gave me four. It just It just gave me four. Yes, kill all the gems, babes. Kill all of the isn't this inside for YouTube? Those are not ridiculous. Do you know these expired 2019 October 15th? Anyway, the noodles boiling over there have been transported from Nepal to Johannesburg, Northcliffe, where I used to stay, all the way to Rudaport, where my friend hosted my sister and I for three months without rent. Your friend. Um, and now I'm here in my homestead. And if you're sitting there judging me and using defamatory words like hoda or whatever, just know that you're on the wrong and you need to apologize for your thoughts. This very point. I was in a relationship with this woman for over three years and this house is written with stuff that she has gifted me with. And she's a very, very generous person. So what did you want me to do? Burn the stuff in this serial economy? Is everything okay at home? Right? Okay, this is going to burn off. Okay, that's good. Well. Come on. These look amazing. These look and smell amazing. Alright, this is done. But before I start eating, I'm just letting it cool a little bit. And I'll give you some more useless information that no one asked for. I do not enjoy mukbangs. I don't care. I eat for hunger and I generally don't care about most of the things that people care about when it comes to food. I don't care about nutrition, I don't care about presentation, I don't care about the origins and the history of the food, and just like most of the stuff that everybody loves about food. I eat to get rid of hunger and also enjoyment, and that's it. The Instagramming, the food porn, the 
the way you're eating, who's making the food, how much the food costs. I, I don't care. I don't care. I will admit I do binge a lot, but it's not because of like weird reasons or like eating disorders. I binge because of my job. I tend to go long periods of time without eating and by the time I eat, I feel famished. So I kind of uh, eat like a, a cave woman. Man. But I'm not an emotional eater. I don't eat to comfort myself. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I eat because I'm hungry. Lastly, I have a very high tolerance for hot food. In actual fact, a large reason why I enjoy my food is if it's hot. So the heat part of this challenge is actually not that threatening, I must say. The hottest thing that I've ever actually eaten was at a Thai restaurant in Greenside. It was delicious, it was amazing. Ironically enough, my ex also paid for that meal, uh, but we moved. I hardly think that this is going to be anything close to that, so I've spoken enough. Let's get into the deed. Okay, wish me luck. Let's do this. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. These are expired, but okay. 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 rotten at all. These taste perfectly fine. It's the right amount of heat, like, as in spicy. It's it's my kind of spicy. I should have added a little bit more actually. I'm fine. I don't think this is going to get any hotter, to be honest. I really am eating rotten noodles, like it's nothing. If this isn't badassery, I don't know what is. I'm trying to cope. That's that's my coping dance. I'm actually starting to think that if you have C O V I D one nine and you eat you eat one of these. She don't, she won't stand a chance. She, she, she can't survive this.
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Whew.